the Alcoholic Drinks Control Fund for the financial year 2017-2018. Honorable Speaker, it is quite unfortunate and my county is one of the most affected counties by um, alcohol and sell, sell of um, profluted alcohol. Honorable Speaker, it is very important for us to ensure that this fund is also invested for rehabilitation of persons who are affected by alcohol. It goes without saying that health is now a devolved unit, but the county governments are not able to shoulder this issue of rehabilitation alone. The national government must ensure that this fund, the investment of these funds, and I can see that the committee has reported that 700 million was invested in treasury bills, but there is no proper record of the breakdown of where the accrued benefits went to or were applied to. So it is therefore important we ensure that this fund is applied to ensure we have rehabilitation centers in all our 47 counties because we must cater for the issues that plague us as at now. And I want to commend the Deputy President, Honorable Rigadi Gachagua, for his very spirited fight against illicit brews and second generation alcohol. But as we fight to ensure we save the next generation, what about those who have already been lost to abuse of alcohol in this nation, Honorable Speaker? We must ensure that we also salvage them and try to mitigate the effects of the long-term usage of alcohol. I therefore support this, and I urge the committee to ensure that this report does not die here on the floor of the August House. Let us have an accountability perspective of where the 700 million and the profits from the same were applied to, and they must be plowed back as CSR to communities that are affected by alcohol in this country. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Member for Marakwet West, Honorable Timothy. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker, for giving me an opportunity to contribute uh, on this uh, very important report of the Order General. Honorable Speaker, I wish to thank the Chair of the Committee, uh, my friend, Honorable Amina Mohammed, for the good work that she has done as a Chair of the Committee. Honorable Chair, Honorable Speaker, the issue to do with alcoholic drinks in this country, initially it was under the national government. The famous Utuda law was passed in the year 2010. Honorable Speaker, at that particular time, the national campaign against drug abuse authority was under the national government. But pursuant to the promulgation of the new constitution 2010, that particular function was transferred to the county governments because health became a fully devolved function, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, now what is, what is happening in the county governments is that each county government because that function is devolved, has passed a legislation to suit a particular county. And I want to speak, the challenge now is that we have 47 different legislations regulating the use of alcoholic drinks in this country. I want to speak, it is something that we need to rethink as a country. Because it, it, 